This video is about using dichroic film and crystals in resin pendants. I should have started off these videos as two separate ones, but for some reason I did two different types of pendants in the same pour. On one of the pendants, I'm going to be using um, Let's Resin's Metallic Powder and May Spring's Purple Amethyst Mica Powder. This gold powder is not a mica powder. It's a metallic powder, and it's very opaque. I use it a lot on my Organite platforms and chargers. Um, you can't see anything through it. It's very cool. And I was trying to be very um, frugal here by using the cap, and it took me forever to paint the back and sides of this first piece, or first pendant. And then when I start using the inside of the um, bottle, it goes a lot faster, as you'll see. This is about 15 minutes of footage. I just cut down on that. Oh, look at how fast that looks when you're not being cheap and trying to use the color out of the cap. So for these Organite pendants, I'm lining it with this um, gold. It's either a rustic gold, I think. And then for the dichroic film pendants, I'm just putting a purple back on it. I thought I had purple film, but the film turns out to be turn a different kind of color, but that's okay. Mica does work for a back. I've made at least six or seven of these pendants using different crystals and different colors on the background, and they turn out great. And it's also a difference being able to do pendants face up so you know what you're getting instead of wondering what's going to happen. Um, I start out both of them by mixing some black pigment paste and resin. You only need a couple drops to turn the pigment or the resin black. And I just pour a little bit in each one to form a base because behind dichroic film, you do need a black base. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the color shifting and the color hues. Um, since I was already mixing black, I just did it for the Organite pendants, which I really didn't need. Uh, the Metallic Powder by Let's Resin, you can put white behind it. You can put or white resin or clear resin, anything you want. You can't see through it. And for my Organite pendants here, I'm using um, aluminum flakes and quartz crystal because when you mix 50% resin and 50% metal and add quartz crystal, it will actually clear any unwanted energy and send it back out as good energy. You can have it in a pendant or a stand or anything you want. That's what Organite is. So for this, I'm just putting the metal in first and I'm going to let this sit overnight because the black has to also set for the dichroic pendants. So this is just the base of my pendants. So coming back the next day, I'm starting with some clear resin. And this is just, I think we use Jade Diction one to one high gloss resin. Pretty inexpensive, pretty easy to use, not a lot of bubbles, not that it matters for this. But you want to pour a little bit of a clear base. And as you see, I've already pre-cut the strips of film and used my hole punch <laughs> to fit over the little hole. What's great about having the preformed holes is you can just slide some string through it. You don't have to drill any holes and it's perfect. And as you see, placing the dichroic film on top of the black, you can already see the colors popping out. And unfortunately, I do not remember which film this is of ours. We only have three different ones. It's not the Northern Lights, I know that. So it's one of the other two. Um, but I'll put a link to all three of them in the description below. But basically for the dichroic film pendants, you pour the black base, let it sit, put the film in, top coat it with clear resin. That's it. And look what a beautiful little pendant. So now I'm going to start on the Organite ones, which again, I don't know why I did these two different pours in the same video. Um, poured a little bit too much resin there. I'm just pouring a little bit of resin to hold my stones and I'm going to be using pyrite crystals here, pyrite chips. And the first thing that I do, it knocks one into the dichroic pour. So of course, if something bad is going to happen, it'll always happen. So I'm moving it around so I don't do that again. Um, basically with these rough crystal fronts, I'm just putting it in enough resin so it glues it down. I don't want the crystals to be submerged because I think that looks really cheap when you have crystals submerged in resin, um, unless they're large and you're trying to contain them. But this pendant took, or these two pendants actually took quite a bit of time. This original video was over 30 minutes long and I cut it down to less than seven minutes. But for the first layer, you kind of pat the crystals down. It's going to take up the resin. I want the crystals to be 
coming off the front of the pendant. I want it to have a rough feel, not a smooth feel. Of course, if you wanted to have a smooth feel, you could just put a little bit in there and put resin on the top of it to smooth it out, but I don't think that looks good. So I ended up doing, adding crystals, I don't know how many times, six or seven times, and you have to go in and smash them down, make sure they go around the little hole where the string is gonna go. Up oh, there I am again. And you don't want a lot of resin showing on these, so if there's extra resin, you just keep putting more crystals on it and jamming it in there till it works. Then you can use a toothpick to jam some more in there. Then towards the end of it, I take a toothpick and just drizzle resin around the top of it just to make sure that the crystals will stick together. Resin is an excellent glue. It is stronger than any glue out there. Nothing will get away from it. I do this on the top of my Organite chargers as well when it has crystals on the top. But it's just a little bit of extra glue there. And we're going to add some sparkle. Don't ask me why I use silver on top of a gold, but I probably didn't have gold glitter at the time. But it just lifts the light, has the light catch it a little bit more. And those then leave them overnight. And when they're done, you just pop them out. These are the organite pendants with the pyrite with the gold on the back. They turn out really nice. Very rustic looking. I can see guys really liking these pendants. In fact, a few guys have bought those pyrite ones. And here's the dichroic ones. Again, this film doesn't really match the purple mica back that I chose, but it's okay. The color from these things are just wonderful.